you guys, PS4 Trophies, and I'm back in Ether 1. We finally got a patch so I can continue this guide for you. So we're doing the all of the collectibles in the uh, industrial area. Now, we're going to get there here first. We got to go up here, but be really quick. Hang the left here, and there's actually that entrance to the mine area. So we have to go there uh, eventually before we complete the game. But I just wanted to show you where the mine area was at. Now, I'm going to show you all the projectors, the ribbon locations, the knocker statues, voicemails, and of the plaques. But first, let's do all the projectors. Now, we're going to go to the... Uh, assemble the first of five projectors in the mill management area so what you need to do is open up that panel hit a button and it's going to lower a hook and attach it now you have to do the same thing on the other side and uh, this guide is going to do just the uh, projectors first and then i'm going to do the ribbons and the knocker statues voicemails and plaques i'm not going to mix them all in so after we uh, do that we're going to go over here and we need to go to 300 and then 200 on the last one, hit that little valve, and it'll open up the uh, the elevator here. Now, there was a ribbon there on the first floor. You probably saw it. I will point out all those other ones as we as I come across them, but I'll pick them all up later in this video. So once you've uh, done that, gone up the elevator, you're going to go up some stairs more. Now, up here, there's also going to be a knocker statue in the safe if you uh, open it up, which is a combination for that, I believe, is uh, 1845. And you can find the combination dial in the desk drawer. But after you interact and uh, turn on that machine over there, pull out the paper, put it on the spindle there, come over to this board, type in USA, and then on the day, it's going to be Monday, so M-O-N. And then the date is going to be the 16th. Now, doing all of this will unlock the uh, the projector, or reassemble the projector, rather. Now, in order for the projectors to count towards your stats and to get the trophy, you're going to have to make sure you always interact with it after you've reassembled it. So, the second projector is going to be in the arsenic building over here, arsenic house. There's actually going to be a, uh, a few of them in here. Now we're going to have to hit this pressure control switches here, so it's 300, 200, 200 on the last three. And then turn that dial, and then go over here, got another valve, we're going to open that door, another valve, and then open that door. Now we have to go find uh, some chemicals that we're going to put in there. So we're going to go up to this door over here, We've got another combination, which I believe is 2217 if I'm not mistaken. The there we go. So we're going to go grab this bottle and then we're going to put this uh, fluid inside of these uh, heat things over here. There we go. We got one more we have to go and retrieve. This would all be easier to deal with back in England. So go ahead and put this in here and then we're going to go down the stairs. Go ahead and shut these. I don't know if it really matters, but we're going to go down here. And then what you need to do here for this little puzzle is to uh, turn this all the way to full. Once we get this to full, we have to go down these stairs over here and interact with this lever. So pull that, and then you need to come back up. And for some reason, I'm stuck. We're, now we're going to turn it to three quarters. Once we've done that, we're going to go back downstairs, hit the lever once again, and that will reveal the projector. So all we need to do is go up these stairs over here. You see that board with the lights? Uh, once, for each one of these you interact with, we'll turn the light green. You need to have all four of them green before we can do the fifth one. So there we go. Make sure you interact with that projector. It's very uh, critical you do that. So we're going to go down to the third one, and there's a ribbon over there in the corner. There's also a plaque right there on that bridge. Uh, we can't interact with that yet because we need the lantern, but we'll get that in a little bit. So we're going to come down here, and we're going to try to poison some coffee. So there's a, uh, a few little tedious tax tasks you have to do here. Once you get here, you got the locker room. Uh, with these, you need to be 300, 100, 200, 300, and 100 uh, PSI. 
And then hit that uh, valve there, and then you have another combination here, and this one is going to be 2910 in this locker. Inside this locker is going to be a coffee mug, as well as a hammer that we'll uh, get to uh, momentarily. So 2910. So once uh, you have the coffee mug, what, what do you think you have to do? Make a cup of coffee, of course, and there's the projector. So we're going to go into the break room here, put the uh, coffee down, and then we're going to go get some uh, uh, filters here, or capsules or whatever these are. Open up this little trap door. I'm going to uh, put the cleaning grains in there. I'm going to hit it twice. Now we need to go and get poison. Now in order to do that, you have to go back to this locker, grab the hammer, and we're going to go break through a wall. There's also going to be another ribbon around the corner here. So go ahead and break open this wall and you'll find the uh, poison. Moments later another cheer. Stood clutching the ball. So now we're going to go back to our coffee. Uh, we're going to put the poison in the same spot we put the pl uh, cleaning uh, tablets. Then of course you have to turn on the coffee pot itself so you're going to have to hit the switch but first I got to take this and put it on a shelf somewhere because we have to pick up the coffee mug and you can only carry one thing at a time all right so we're making the coffee as soon as it's done we're gonna pick it up and it's gonna automatically build the projector now when I played this before the patch I had to put this on the warden's desk for some reason so again make sure you interact with that and we're gonna go into the warden's office real quick and I'm gonna put the mug down on the mat there and uh, in that office is going to be a knocker statue and uh, it's going to be in a painting behind uh, on the wall behind the painting and the co the uh, bottom of the coffee cup has the code which is 0112 but again at the end of this video I will show you all of those other things uh, separately all right so the fourth projector is in the same area so we're going to kind of head back here and then we're going to go straight across the stairs we came down are just to the left, so we're going to go this way. And you see the broken projector there, so we're going to fix it by first going to this board. Now you're going to type in Nick B. You're going to put a space between Nick and B. And then under weight, you're going to type in 75. The lines on our faces may have changed, but our love remains... All right, so now we got to go wander off a little bit, so we're going to go up these stairs... And there's going to be a series of valves that we need to turn. And you can see another ribbon right in front of us. It's so creepy. All right, so here, the, the third row down, you're going to turn each of those three and then hit this lever. Now, real quick, we're going to take a quick time out. We have to go back to where we... Uh, back the other way but before you do we're gonna go pick up the lantern because it's right in this very uh, same area and you're gonna need the lantern and uh, fix the plaque before we can do the fifth one so I'm gonna kind of go out of order I'll show this again when I do the uh, um, plaque section at the end of this video but here pick up the lantern and then you gotta hold R2 to restore that plaque over there Now there's two of these in this uh, in this area, in the industrial area, but that was one of them. All right, let's go ahead and uh, finish that fourth projector. Now we kind of detoured a little bit. Of course, I'll reference this again uh, when I show you the plaque locations after the uh, uh, the ribbons. All right, so we're gonna go head back, but before uh, you do go, don't go all the way back. You're going to have to go find another office. So just to the right is where the projector was. So we're going to go over here. And then there's going to be a staircase here. And another office up here. And this one, the, you don't have, there's a combination dial, but I didn't have to touch anything. So 2804, and I just hit the button there. So pick up that hammer, and now we're going to go back towards where the projector was. And there's going to be some pipes, and you need to hit the pipes in a specific way in order to trigger the, uh, the projector to be fixed. 
So come over here right next to that ribbon. You can go ahead and pick that up. So it's the right one twice, the left one, and then the right one. Hit them in that order. You're just going to have to wait uh, just for a moment. The mine carts are kind of coming down the track. And there you go. Make sure you again you interact with this projector. Alright, so we're going to leave this area and we're going to go to the fifth projector. Remember, you have to make sure you've built all four of those projectors, interacted with them, and restored that plaque I showed you a little bit ago. So we're going to leave this building and we're going to go to the building over here. It is labeled 312. And there's another ribbon there for you if you want. We have all four green lights so we know where to go. There's some puzzle solutions on that border which I've already showed you. So here you're going to go ahead and have to hit the left series of buttons for each of these rows. So hit this one, hit all four of these on the left side, and then you need to increase the pressure over here. Now this one you just turn up the max, it's 12. And then kind of going down here, we've got 10. Put that on seven, and this one in on three. And you'll hear the her, uh, Gene talking, so we'll know we did it. Let's go ahead and just show you here real quick. If you want to pause it, you can. All right, so we got one more small puzzle. Uh, around this world, there's a whole bunch of uh, um, big letters, kind of like bingo, uh, C7 type thing where uh, uh, I'm written on chalk, but I'm just gonna tell you obviously the solutions here. Uh, once you come up here, you're gonna have to uh, put in, not C4, C3, and then we're gonna go A5, and then D11, uh, and the last one is gonna be J4. Correctly mark that board and you will restore the projector. Of course, make sure again you interact with it. And that's it for the projectors here in the industrial area. Let's go ahead and do the ribbons. There's eight of them. You may have probably found seven of them, you know, on your own, maybe all of them. But in the mill management area, you got that one there, and there's another one out in the distance there if you noticed it. We're kind of taking a tour of the entire industrial area here in one long cut. So go ahead and grab this one. You may have seen it, but there was no real reason for you to be over here, so you may have missed it if you're looking for them on your own. The next one is going to be in the uh, this building over here, where the final projector was at, the 312 building. Again, another one that you probably uh, obviously noticed earlier. These things aren't exactly hidden. They're <laughs> bright, glowing red. Uh, huge ribbon. So the fourth one is going to be, we're going to have a couple of them uh, in these buildings over here. Um, before going in the arsenic house, go in this door here and drop down these stairs and you'll find a ribbon. Now we're going to go into the arsenic house, and there's one uh, by the second plaque. I mentioned there was two of them. I showed you one earlier. So pick this up here. The plaque location is right there to my right. Continue down here, and then we're going to find a couple more. Um, there's actually, let's go to the uh, the break room area here first. And this was going to be in the shower. This is where we broke the wall with the hammer. It deprives subjects of sleep in an isolated room for three days before instructing them to carry out a harmful act on another subject. All right, so now we're going to kind of go back to uh, 
the other uh, projector in this area. This is where the mine carts were at. Of course, you uh, obviously have uh, saw this one. I'm pretty sure you picked it up. And then the final one is at the base of the stairs where we went up and got the uh, the lantern. In that room where we had the, the, the hit the third row of, of valves. You can see it right there. So we're just going to have to swing around. Of course, if you just want to fly through this game, I, all you need to do is pick up the ribbons. The ribbons are the only thing that are actually mandatory. Uh, for the memory fragments so if you don't have to do any of the other projectors but you will have to find all the ribbons all right time to take a look at the knocker statues now let's go to the my uh the warden's office here this is where we put the cup of coffee and uh poison the coffee now, i mentioned earlier in the back of this room is going to be a safe and the combination of that safe is on the bottom of the coffee cup there zero one one two and then the actual safe itself is right behind this painting. So go ahead and type in that combination and uh, you will get the knocker statue. Now the second uh, knocker statue, or it could be the first one depending on which order you wanted to get these, is in the mill management building at the very top. This is the first projector we did. And right underneath that board, you have this safe. Of course, it's missing a dial. If the dial is close by. All you need to do is open up the middle drawer here on the right side of this desk. Pick it up. I don't know why it's not letting me. Oh, because I have something in my possession already. So we're going to pick that up. Trade the red dial for the gold one. And this code is 1845. Andrew turned to Harry, his face looking very serious now. All right, so there's one piece of voicemail in this area. If you go to the center of the area outside, uh, in the middle of all these buildings, there's a staircase down here. Come down this way, and then there's going to be a pipe you can crouch under and walk under um, straight ahead here. And just around this pillar is the voicemail, the phone. So go ahead and interact with that. Press your square button. Now there's also going to be a second voicemail. This is going to be backed by the uh, projector by the coffee um, coffee pot in the break room area here. So what we're going to do is we're going to go find that projector, and that's the uh, warden's office. The projector's right here, and there's some stairs leading up, so we're going to go and take these stairs up, and all we need to do is open up this little cupboard here, and we will find that second voicemail. Now we're going to go ahead and move on to the plaques. There's two of them. Now I had already previously kind of showed this because uh, we needed to get this in order to get the fifth and final projector uh, restored. But just to recap, in case people skip to this part of the video, uh, we're going to go up here and grab the lantern. You aim at the, uh, the plaque out in the distance and hold R2. You hit L2 to uh, pull it up, hold R2 to use it. Now, after you get both of the plaques here, we have to go back to the the harbor and get the one plaque that we missed in the first area. Now, the second one is going to be uh, near the uh, uh, beginning of the arsenic house here. So when we entered here, we just passed one of the projector spots. There's this broken bridge here, and all you need to do is restore this, and that'll be the second and final uh, plaque here in the industrial area. But as I mentioned, we do have to go backtrack. So after you complete this, you're going to end up in the uh, Pinwheel Village. Uh, leave there and go back to the harbor. And then once you're in the harbor, all you need to do is go back towards the, uh, the boat um, thing here. So we're just going to go behind it. And there's going to be some rubble. And if you look inside on the back wall is going to be the plaque. So just go ahead and line that up. Hold R2 with your lantern equipped. And that'll do it for this uh, collectible guy. And hope to see you guys in the next chapter.